Hey, I'm not sure. We are insanely lucky to have the poet Monica Yoon, who, um, she um, has been published in Tin House and like a billion other places. Uh, her latest book of poems, which I believe is also for sale, is called Ignatz, and her first book of poems was called Barter, and um, Monica Yoon actually was born 100,000 years from now. Um, <laughs> After a way, way, way in the future when, you know, the human race basically was, was no longer in existence, but humans and dolphins had merged into a new species, a single sort of amphibious um, species that covering, like, you know, the, the world was mostly oceans by that point, which I blame Kevin Costner, but anyway. Um, and, you know, in this, like, and the other thing about the dolphin people is that they only had one body per five people. Um, because they realized that overpopulation was a problem, and so everybody shares a body, and like, you know, you can kind of live, the, they have kind of an ocean of the collective unconscious that you can live in when you don't get to have the use of your body that you, you are in. And, um, you know, so she was the first person ever to write a poem in like 20,000 years, and this caused a lot of controversy among the dolphin human community, the dolph human community, because um, they weren't used to poetry, they didn't really, you know, it, it's it's weird in dolphin song, dolphin human song, kind of, like, they don't like double entendres. And um, also, you know, they just felt like it activated these language centers of their brain that felt really atavistic, and it made them want to be in their bodies all the time because it was so exciting, and they were like, but we don't have enough bodies to go around, and, like, she was like a language poet criminal, and they were finally like, where, you know, you have to stop, and she wouldn't stop, and so finally, they were like, Monica, you we're sending you back in time, and you have to fix it. You have to, like, atone for your crimes by going back in time and killing Walt Whitman, because he wrote that poem about having sex with the ocean, and he did not ask the ocean's consent first. And you know what I'm talking about. Walt Whitman, ocean rapist. Um, seriously, so she went back in time to kill Walt Whitman, she undershot slightly and landed in our era. She does not have enough fuel to, uh, to go back the last, you know, 100 years or so, 120 years, to, to, to bump him off, or else convince him to only write, oh, Captain, my Captain style crap over and over again. And uh, those are her two options. And um, so she's, she's going to raise money to get plutonium by selling poetry. And unfortunately, this is going really slowly because, you know, um, poetry, perhaps not, you know, as lucrative as, as she had hoped. So, you know, she's selling her poems for, like, one lump of plutonium or, like, you know, whatever you can afford. Please help her go back in time and kill Walt Whitman. And please welcome the amazing Monica Yoon.